Um, can everyone hear me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the purpose of my speech is to cover why uh, our in-person schooling is better than online schooling. So before 2020, online school was just something that you kind of thought about in the back of your head. But since the start of COVID, it has become the only form of learning for most students. Learning for students is everything. And in the start of 2020, the way we learn changed drastically. As things get back to normal, we're still uncertain of the future and if another event like the coronavirus were to happen again. We live in a digital age where online school underperforms greatly compared to the classroom experiences. Um, one main reason to, uh, to listen to my uh, speech is we're all students or uh, people who have someone who knows a student or a teacher and this impacts you directly. I chose this topic because it impacts my life daily and my future. If you're going to be paying thousands of dollars for something every year, it, you should care about it. So my main points on my speech are face-to-face uh, -face or face-to-screen and which one is better. In my opinion, face-to-face -face is better. Motivations in students in the online school classroom and their social growth fr from school. And then online classroom versus a traditional classroom. Face-to-face -face or face-to-screen. The main difference in the two schooling is face-to-face -face or face-to-screen. The difference between the two changes the whole dynamics of learning completely. Online and the classroom can both lead to good levels of achievement, but students would rather do homework online but discuss in person. This is where the classroom out, outweighs the online classroom greatly. The lack of social interaction, social interaction is a huge impact on learning. When you can never meet with your professors or peers, you lose a great deal of the college experience. When meeting in person, you feel more engaged rather than sitting in a Zoom with your camera off. Going to class is also much better for your mental health. When you have a class, you get ready for the day and you go out and enjoy. You, you pretty much get, it's, it's a more of an appealing task to get ready and to leave the house. But with online class, you can wake up five minutes before your Zoom lecture, turn your camera off, lay in bed, be lazy and unproductive. Um, the next little part I'm about to cover is from a psychology study taken uh, in 2014 when uh, the digital learning first started to really take shape. Uh, so the study con was conducted on students and students preferred to complete activities face to face rather than online, uh, but there was no real big difference in test performance, so the two schoolings do work. Um, in student responses, uh, students expressed a strong preference for class discussion to be conducted in person because students feel that they are more engaged re and receive more immediate feedback than in online discussion. That comes from Kim Penn. As a student, I 100% agree with this. It is much easier to follow a lecture and retain information the teacher is right in front of you. It's not the same when you just listen to a PowerPoint with no other visual aids while sitting in front of your computer screen. Um, so my next uh, topic is on why the class, why the classroom is a better form of learning so uh, for students and how it helps them progress with uh, social and uh, emotional development. In an online setting, no one meets in person. In the classroom, you can see, or in the classroom, you can actually talk to your professor face to face, along with your fellow classmates. In online work, in online group work, almost never works because of the lack of interaction. For most classes, group work is key. The dynamic in learning when being able to discuss information and problems with your fellow uh, classmates helps with learning greatly. Online group work almost never works because unlike the classroom where you can actually see your fellow students and engage with them directly, on Zoom most of the time students will either be uh, have their cameras off or they just, you, you're not really sure what they're doing. They could be holding their phone behind their screen or it's just hard to fully engage with someone when you can't actually see them. Uh, also, in my opinion, online school is repetitive. Most teachers will send out an email at the start of the week 
of the same assignment, just a different chapter. Say it's due Friday, and that's pretty much it from them. Um, so my next little part is from another study. Uh, this was taking on a new gener the new like the newest generation of students from uh, 2020, uh, younger kids especially. Uh, children which have been growing up with uh, mobile devices and other te technology technology their whole life. Uh, this study highlights why it's a good good for social life from school helps students. Social and emotional growth from school allows students to manage emotions and regulate behaviors, learn skills and acquire knowledge, achieve well-being and practice resilience. Social and emotional competence can contribute to important developmental milestones in early childhood social and emotional growth. Also, predict a wide range of adjustment measures, including better behavior, self-regulation, school readiness, and academic success. Without the well-being online, many of those aspects of a child's growth is missed. Uh, that comes from Chung. Many students struggle in online settings because their lives already, are, because so much of their lives are already dealt with being online or on their phone. So school becomes another app versus an actual form of learning. The motivation is lost. The learning environment is completely changed when you can just lay in bed and turn your camera off. Getting ready is a lot of work, but it's good for you. Online school is highly repetitive in both the way the class is ran and how homework is set up. After 15 weeks straight this semester, this has become tedious and the feeling of burnout has never been worse for me personally as a student. Uh, in the to So it, this is uh, the second semester straight, so it's been pretty much 30 weeks of online school and uh, at this point, it, I've never felt burnout worse from school uh, because uh, I feel like everything has been very repetitive. And then my last topic is a loss of motivation in students can be caused by a setting which the student learns. The traditional classroom uses a campus and classrooms and all of the university's resources. Students attend class every day and follow a set schedule. They cannot meet with their peers professors on a daily basis online. Also, assignments are due in class, and the organization is much better. While well, online classroom is opposite, there's no limits of the classroom. While some teachers hold Zooms, from my experience, many don't. Turning our school into asynchronous, is, which is not something we pay thousands of dollars for. From my experience in Zoom, teachers have become lazy with mostly only meeting in their set office times taking a while to respond to emails and assigning repetitive work. Online, requiring, online learning requires a different approach and skills to give a good lesson in an online class, classroom. It has been well over a year, but traditional classroom teachers have failed to adapt in order to teach students online effectively. This could have well slowed down the progress of education, particularly as students also have to adjust to learning. Uh, effectively. The contents of the course being delivered has a huge impact on the student's progress and the content has to be a bit, has to be set to a very high standard for it to be effective. Uh, much like the physical the success in the physical classroom, it will take a great deal of preparation and understanding of in-person teaching theory and the best practice is the same required for digital education. Uh, that comes from fear of deep. Um, so that's pretty much what I have to say. Um, my main points were uh, the classroom is much more effective because the setting is more engaging and you can actually meet with your peers and professors. How students motivate and their social interaction is lost in online school. And uh, so my closing impact is online school does work but it doesn't come close to the experience you receive from a traditional classroom. Online has its pros and cons, and if these cons can be worked out to its full effectiveness, it can achieve rather, it can be more effective rather than a wasted potential for students and teachers. Thank you, great job, Miles. Um, we're gonna go next, moving on to Sean.